Hey guys, what's up? So I decided to take a break on writing poetry and focus on my next story, which is called The Hookup. This is a thriller. So in episode 8, which I call Half of the Truth, this opens up where Jason, Michael, and Taylor leave the mass early because of the drama that broke out in the funeral. Michael, in this episode, realizes how important Jason and Taylor are to him. Their level of friendship has gone from friends to family. They drive to Michael's house, and he asks both of them if they can stay the night, considering he doesn't want to be alone. Taylor makes a drink in the kitchen while opening the cabinets, looking for the wine opener. He sees the gift wrapping and letter that says, I miss you in the garbage. After this, he goes upstairs to see Michael and Jason in a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation. He hands them both glasses and listens. In this episode, Michael opens up and tells them the truth about what happened all the way back in the day, but his version. <clears throat> in high school that he did have something with Timothy, but his father threatened that if he was to going to stay in that house, he had to live by the rules. This is the reason everything unfolds. He explains that after his strict dad saw them making out in the pool, he asked Samantha Terry's wife now to pose as his girlfriend. He also told Timothy to leave and to never get in contact with him again, and that it was he, that he especially after the horrible beatdown he got from Edward, Terry, and Greg. Michael was in a dilemma. He had to choose between love or his father's words and reputation. Although Michael is opening up to his friends, he's not entirely telling them the 100% of the story. At the end of this episode, the killer comes in for a kill, leaving two dead bodies. See what happens next.